A big hello and a warm welcome to PROF.Manishnaya where questionnaires and different kind of questionnaires whatever that can possibly happen with you is getting covered. Now in our endeavor to help you assisting how to answer question we are also trying to get you as many numbers of different interview scenarios. So in case if you get an investigative interview question what is that which you are going to do? So let's try and understand as to how investigation interview questions with example answers can come your way and how to tackle them. So workplace investigations can be difficult for all involved, especially if you are the accused party. However, investigations can be necessary to find the truth of an accusation or conflict reports. Answering investigation interview questions honestly and directly and being helpful during the process can help you move through the investigation more quickly and effectively. In this particular shoot, you will be able to see the varying examples of questions asked and answers you should give to make sure everything goes smoothly. Workplace investigation interview questions and example answers. So here are some example questions and answer for an investigation interview. First, when and where did you see this incident occur? Was this ongoing? Management should interview you once they get all the information needed to move forward. Therefore, expect to be prepared to answer interview questions like this one. So remember the timeline in which you were a part of this scenario. Example, I saw this incident of inappropriate behavior by my manager on August 14, 2019 in my manager's office. A team has held meetings in his office before, but this is the first time he acted this way in front of the team. Who was responsible for the alleged inappropriate behavior? Two. Being a part of a company means being transparent when explaining workplace events. You will want to be differential to all parties and speak the truth when asked difficult questions about the investigation. Example, our manager is responsible for his unruly behavior in front of our team. We have various meetings with him on a daily and weekly basis. So it was surprising to witness his actions in real time. Number three, what happened during this incident and do you recall the name of witnesses? The interviewer needs to know the specifics of the incident to determine a relevant punishment or decide if law enforcement needs to get involved. If you know about the meeting beforehand, jot down notes about what occurred and who was there. You can use the STAR method technique to form a thorough thoughtful response to your human resources manager. STAR stands for, you all know that, situation. Describe the situation you and your co-workers encountered. Task. Explain your role in the situation. Action. Include what the actions were by your manager. Result. Detail the outcome of the meeting and how it got you here. Example. On August 14, 2019, Dave Taylor, a sales manager, called Sheila Duncan, a sales representative, and myself into his office. He said it was urgent. We thought that something was up regarding a client, but it was worse. Taylor immediately slammed the door and scolded us for not hitting our monthly targets despite praising our performance at our weekly meeting last week. He screamed profanities and obscene remarks that I would not like to repeat at this time. Overall, we wanted to report it to human resources to understand where we stand and that disciplinary action should be taken. Number four, what was your reaction to the incident? This is your opportunity to elaborate on your interaction with the other person or people involved in this incident. Your viewpoint is important to getting the facts right and allocating the correct accountability. Example, as noted before, Sheila and I were surprised based on the attitude displayed at our previous meeting last week. We have never seen this behavior before from our manager, so we felt hurt by his reaction. Number fifth, did you show discontent about the actions carried out? 
employers want to see what actions you took during an incident to see if they potentially cause the other person to act in a certain way be honest remember that just because you did something to make the other person react it doesn't mean their reaction was correct example during the incident i froze as the actions were being carried out even when being called into his office my gut was telling me that this wouldn't be good based on the tone of his voice speaking for myself i felt hurt and wish for a meaningful resolution to be met number 6 did you discuss this incident with anyone else in your department company or etc discuss who else you told about the incident to see if the human resources department can interview them and get their perspective on the matter example no i have not considering the events that occurred i knew it was the right thing to do to report it to human resources department but it took me a few days to make that decision sheila felt that same way at lunch when we talked about it other coworkers have noticed that we have been acting differently since that day we plan to inform them once we spoke to human resources about this number 7 Are you aware of other accounts of this being reported? This can relate to the question above, but it's important to keep this question in mind to see if events have happened that are similar to yours. Example, to my knowledge, I have not. If there was someone else on the sales staff that heard of this incident, then that is news to me. Number 8. Have you been affected personally or professionally by this behavior? Be candid in how this incident has affected your behavior inside and outside of the workplace. In being upfront with your employer, it shows your dedication to the organization while holding the person responsible for their actions. Example, at work, this event has disrupted the way I interact with clients and has slowed down my progress in reporting the number of leads generated by our staff throughout the week felt like i had a good rapport with my manager but the latest event has made me doubt how well i can perform in my current role as a sales representative number 9 do you have any supporting notes or documentation to provide in regards to this incident gather all written materials if necessary all written documentation helps you cooperate with an investigation and present all the facts up front example a manager sent four emails between just after our meeting and this meeting with human resources they were all work related in regards to our clients sheila was cc on all these emails we acknowledged these mails but we have not had face to face contact with him since number 10 can you give us the names of people who possess relevant information if you believe that there were other witnesses name them when this question is asked it gives the human resource department more details on who they can interview next and discover the root cause of this behavior example other than sheila and myself I do not have any other names to present at this time. However, I think interviewing the sales staff, Mike Shelley, Jenny Smith and Phil Vitario could be beneficial as they have witnessed our behavior or similar incidents with our manager. Number 11. What do you believe is the appropriate action to be taken here? You need to assume the role of a human resources manager to make a sound judgment here. You can suggest a suspension, resignation or termination of the employee if you believe the behavior is in line with the punishment. Example, I think a manager should be suspended for his actions and be moved to a different department. At the very least, I think his actions were reprehensible and this needs to be documented in the company's records. Overall, I don't think I can see myself working around him going forward. so i believe some investigative questions they come up as a case study this is a typical case study that we are laying down for you all so that you understand that while getting interrogated be it a interrogative question 
or interview questionnaire scenario or maybe while working in a company be very honest be truthful be documented and also at the same time have lot of insights as to what you want from yourself from your boss and the overall environment of the company i'll tell you that basically this is what i have faced working with one of the most competitive dynamic and demanding industry and i know for sure what it takes but i resign from that company because if you do not get the right kind of response from your human resource manager it's not worth in a culture to learn something like that so i am just dropping you enough hint as to how you can cope up and maybe recover yourself and adapt to a situation typical company environment where there is an investigation question like this so i hope this will definitely have a lot of insights in terms of preparing your psyche and mindset you may may or may not encounter but let's look at this angle as well thank you